Hornbill Festival December 1 Pashuru Nakriya Gide November 24 or 25 day Kisama Pa Food and Music Festival Thagibule se with the festo Government of India Laga Ministry of Tourism Pra Nagaland Tourism Laga Support Pra Fund Kribule se Aro Imagination Pra Manage Kribule se Imagination Laga Managing Director Elevino Sele ye pra press conference se kushe ki Ito duite an event te music live concert, food stalls, kids carnival, art installations Book Corners, Photo Boot, Our Lovers Lock Nishina Khan Thagibo. Inaugural program do November 24 day Ek Baji Shuru Hobo. Our second din do Dos Baji Day Shuru Hobo. Our Rati Dos Baji Dak Jabo Kushe. First day laga live show day Coffee aro, and Rovi, Big Dane, Ramos, Orange aro, Abdon Match Khan perform Kribule Se. Second din day Domic, Z, ZT, Slingshot, Paper Sky, The Glutens aro, Trans Effect Khan Naga performance Tiki Pabo. Sile ye pra kushi ke entry ticket to action manu ni meter rupees 50 hobo aro hotai live show do sham pass paji shuru korbo. Nagaland Tourism laga deputy director Toka E. Tukomi pra juna shi ke to festival do Hornbill festival laga official prelude event da se aro sub se poila bar lobule se. We wanted to announce one of a kind uh, food and music festival. So this is going to be the first uh, food and music festival in Nagaland specifically. So it's going to be a prelude to the Hornbill Festival 2023. Uh, so what's going to happen in this event is we're going to have a lot of uh, live music, children's park, uh, a lot of food stalls, book corner, photo booth, art installations. A lot of activities is going to take place during this two days festival. That is 24th and 25th of November this month. It will take place from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. For the 24th, we may likely inaugurate at 1 p.m. Most probably, our Honorable CM will be inaugurating this festival. On the second day, the run sheet will go as 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The location is at Imagine Land, so that's uh, the old Kisama Park. At the heritage village food and music festival i just wanted to let you all know that uh, the ministry of tourism has been very kind enough we we just recently ha had a you know autumn festival in delhi that was actually a program supported by the ministry of tourism it's a more of a prelude to the hornbill festival and this is also in line with the you know we call it as a prelude to the hornbill festival and it's these programs are specifically uh, you know supported by the Government of Nagaland, as well as by uh, funded by the Ministry of Tourism. So basically, it's a prelude to the Hornbill Festival. It's a first of a kind. We're starting it this year. We're very optimistic. Uh, we'll be having a lot of, uh, you know, as she has rightly said, we'll be having a lot of food stalls on this place. We'll be we'll be having around ten bands from Nagaland performing over the course of two days. Specific food stalls for, you know, uh, Sumis, Angamis. Aos, Lotas, and then uh, yeah, Chagasa. So uh, we have specifically asked the you know anyone putting up the stall uh, confined to the uh, particular tribe to have a food that are very you know popular with their own tribes where they are specialized in those things. So and then we are actually promoting a uh, you know local artists as well. So as you said in the beginning. Our uh, the opening session we are likely to have our CM on board, but it's it's still not yet been confirmed. <coughs> that will let, let you know within a you know day or two once we get a confirmation. But we will also be having a consultative meeting on 24. So simultaneously, uh, right after the consultative meeting, we expect our honourable CM to be there. So, but that has not been confirmed. Positively, we have been told he might be on board for the inaugural. So that, uh, as I said, will let you know in a day or two. Uh, apart from that, the programs will start from 10 a.m. to uh, 10 p.m. And then the music fest, or called the music performances, will take over later in the evening, somewhere after 5 p.m. And then it's expected to go till 10 p.m. So uh, the ticket is priced at a very reasonable rate for everyone to attend. It's at 50 rupees per head, so we expect a good turn up of audience as well. So we have uh, 
For the first day on the 24th of November, we have Abdon Match and his band who will be headlining the live concert. On the second day, we have Transifac who will be headlining the live concert. So these are two prominent artists that will be headlining for each day. And the other artists who are also uh, on board, they are all very good artists, all from Nagaland. So this is a very good platform for even for them to display or you know showcase the talents as well. I'll just quickly have uh, you know announce the name of the artists who will be performing. So the first we have Coffee and Rovi. They are big box from the big box community. Big Dan from the hip hop community. We have uh, Brahmos, a very old and renowned b art uh, band as well. We have Orange, a very young group of artists, and then we have Abdon Match. For the second day, we have uh, the Operators Music School of Koima. We have Slingshot, who is also from the hip hop community, and then we have Pepper Sky, very young people again, the Glutons, and the Trans Effect. So these are the artists that will be performing. More may be added, as maybe in a day or two more will be added, more artists will be added. See, the reason why we wanted the imagination to take over this press conference and maybe apprise you about the programs and all is specifically, we have impaneled them as an agency. Because uh, everyone is quite aware that the Hornbill, hectic preparation for the Hornbill is taking place for the department officials. So they are a, a tourism impaneled agency and it's an officially, you know, government funded event. The itinerary that people have <clears throat> Mostly, especially when we had that in Delhi, we were confining it to a certain, we were targeting, targeting a specific audience, specifically the government bureaucrats, maybe the embassy, uh, you know, the uh, staffs on the embassies. You know. For one to ten, for us it's a fe festive, days when we have festivals, but then for them it's a walking day. So we wanted to ex exactly, you know, if they cannot come to Nagaland to experience the hornbill, why not take it to them? That's, so the same case goes for here in Nagaland also. There are so many people, it's a fair, for Nagas, especially the tourist footfalls in Nagaland, starts right after November. And then not everyone, sometimes you go up to Kisama. Even now you'll see a lot of foreigners visiting Kisama. So we thought like, most of them usually they wanted to actually be here for the festival but the the itinerary has been planned out in such a way that their availability is not there so we wanted them to experience you know frozen so that's why we call it a prelude when they cannot make it have a certain death curated for them so that they can experience it and then later on maybe in the years to come they'll like it and then they'll make it a point to visit home so that's the whole purpose. So we have planned it out like, you know, as I said, like there's so many uh, visitors coming for the, uh, just before the Hornbill. And then the peak season, when we say peak season for the visitors, especially the footfall store, uh, foreign visitors, we always assume it to be one to 10. But that's not the case because it's a very, the season is such that the footfalls of to, uh, tourists visiting Nagaland starts from right after October. And then we have so many visitors visiting the, you know, Nagaland. So that's how we felt like we are miss, uh, you know, why not curate certain events for those who are actually here now. And then we're doing extensive promotion on so many of our social media platforms.